Hey there RC fanatics, I know uh, a lot of you have subscribed to my YouTube channel because of my Corrosion X video and for that I thank you. Uh, I hope that uh, some of you have used that advice and uh, are waterproofing your RCs out there, that's great stuff. Um, so, in keeping with the RC theme, I wanted to show you guys something that I have just recently acquired. I won't get into the details of how, but this is a Dynamic Models Radio Controlled Race Car Kit. Now, I cannot tell you how hard it was to find information on this thing. It is not as easy as just going to Google and typing Dynamic Radio Controlled Race Car Kit. It just simply is not that easy. This is the Porsche 917 8th scale RC car completely assembled. This is serial number 1000 uh, and the price in, and we don't have an exact year on when this was sold, uh, but this car was manufactured between 1969 and 1971, but serial number would indicate probably about 1970. So, to get to the good part. Now, this was purchased at a yard sale at some point for $175, or was it $80? Here you go. Beautiful, complete. One of the rarest parts of this whole thing is the original radio. The antenna is underneath in the box. Uh, it actually works. Um, I guess these broke pretty easy, and like how this hobby kind of goes, people like to upgrade. So uh, they would upgrade to newer ones, and the old crummy ones would end up in the dump. Yeah. Take this body off. Go over it real quick. It's a different style plastic than what they use now for sure. I'm sure it's not as durable and definitely more brittle, so whoever owned this before me um, definitely did a good job not plowing it into the walls. And now for the goodies. Look at that beautiful metal frame. All metal, I mean once you get past the electronics and the driver of who the original owner was so clever as to shove a doll head in the, uh, in the helmet. I thought that was pretty creative. Now, Orbit, that was an original aircraft receiver. About the only thing that's wrong with this kit is that's the antenna wire right there. It's uh, been cut off, so but not like that's a hard fix. The original battery pack, servos, all preserved very well. The original tires in good kit. Now check this out. Aluminum deep dish rims. Really, really super cool. The motor is not seized. I don't know if you can hear it, but it does have compression. Now, I've been told, like I said, it took a lot to get information on this thing. Um, but I guess this is pretty rare in the eight cylinder form. I guess uh, a lot of them were in the 12 cylinder, but. Uh, uh, not uh, a lot in the eight cylinder so much in fact that uh, the gentleman Simon at uh, and I can't remember it's uh, it's like uh, eighth historic RC car dot com I'll, I'll get the website and I'll put it on the uh, description but uh, um, he told me that that was a, a very rare piece so now the final little bit and it's too bad that uh, the hole was put in the box in order to allow the antenna um, to protrude through, um, as the owner obviously did, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Give me two seconds here. But this still has the, whoop, flip it over. You can probably hear from the paper crackling original instructions, although slightly Rorschacked by a mouse or rodent of some sort. Um, and that shows you some of the original information. And I am documenting all of this 
because I am going to put this up for sale. Now, pretty much I am going to be accepting offers on this. Um, my original plan was to shop some RC car companies and see if they wanted to purchase it, perhaps for some private collections, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to make sure that uh, I took some good videotape of it so that I could get it out on the net and show everybody what it's like, because I'll be honest, it's hard to find information on this thing. It sits incredibly low. I'm going to put it all back together again here, and I want to show you guys just how low this is. Something that's kind of cool. Let's set the camera down here and make sure that it's in frame. And it is. Okay. Instead of body posts, the way the bodies fit in is they'd slip in between these two pieces of metal. And then you'd put the screws in those in order to keep it secure. And before I do that, I'm going to get my driver back in here. It's exceptionally clean for being as old as it is. Um, get that in there. Put this in here. Okay. Now look at that clearance. Isn't that not incredible? It's just right there. Super, super cool. Again, it's a 1969 to 71 dynamic models. I believe it was called a sidewinder or lightweight chassis. They actually made a heavier duty one with a full complete suspension, but uh, that was like a $1,200 car back in 1970. Um, this was no slouch as far as price went, considering that $289 did not include the motor and it did not include the electronics so for 300 bucks you got the chassis and uh, the body and that was about it um, so really cool awesome find and if you are interested and you are that rare hobby collector like i said that's where the uh, owner had hollowed out the box in order to let the antenna come through. And unfortunately, it let a mouse in. So, um, but if you are interested in purchasing this vehicle, um, I'm not going to name prices, but I'm going to let you know that uh, I've been quoted um, pretty hefty, hefty numbers. Um, and uh, if you're truly interested, you'll know what it's worth and you'll uh, shoot an offer my way. So... Thanks for watching. Have a good one.